Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the tech channel. And in the olden days, when people would overclock their desktop CPUs to see who could get the highest overclock, who could get the highest stable overclock, there was another program you would run, both to test that the system was stable and also to compare the processing power of your computer versus someone else's. You know, it's kind of a guy thing and all competitive. But it turns out that that program, you can now get that in the Google Play Store. You can get an app for your phone to carry on that fine tradition of seeing how much processing power your phone has versus somebody else's. The name of the app is just called Pi, P-I, as in the mathematical symbol, and you know the 3.14159 and so on. What it does is it very simply sets your phone to calculate Pi to a certain number of decimal points, 10,000, 100,000, a million. The longer you set it for, the longer it takes. The faster it finishes, the more powerful, basically, your phone is. So this can be useful, for example, if your phone seems kind of sluggish and somebody else has the same model as you, but your phone seems to be much slower, you can both load the app, have it run, see if there's something going on, if your CPU is being throttled or something where it, because it's overheating, it's cutting back on the speed. There's another very useful app that actually just a few days ago became available for the uh, Android phones that was also a mainstay of people who overclock their computer. It's called CPUZ. I'll put a link to a video I did about that here. But if you'd like to see what you can get measuring pi out to like a million decimal points on your phone, let me show you the app, show you how it works. Okay, here is the app in the listing searching for pi. And one thing you'll notice, very good reviews for this. People have a lot of nice stuff to say about it, which you always like to see when you're going for a free app. Here in the install, you'll also see it doesn't need a whole bunch of permissions on your phone. It's just going to go about its business. So we're going to accept that. And here we go. Let's open it up. Give it a try. See how long it takes to get to one million. That was usually the standard I'd try on my computer, as I recall. Back in the old Pentium 2, Pentium 3 days. Calculate. It's showing me my... CPUs are running at 1.2 gigahertz and I have two cores, which is correct. This is a Google Galaxy Nexus, so it's a dual core 1.2 gigahertz. We're going to choose 1 million and say go. Well, I was quick. You have calculated pi to 1 million digits in 6.025 seconds. So I can go on and share that in competition with other people. And here we go. In case I wanted to verify that it actually did it correctly, I can look at the entire million digits. And if I choose to share it, I can go out and brag to whoever I like. So if you're a guy and you need bragging rights, this is the app for you. It's geeky bragging rights, but hey, that still counts. So if you've got a brand new Samsung Galaxy S4 quad core 1.9 gigahertz processor, go and get the app. It's Pi by GG Emulator run it uh, out to a million decimal points and then down below in the comments post your score your time of how fast it could i know it's going to be faster than my phone but wait because i'm going to get that that motorola x phone that's coming out in a couple months and i bet i'll beat your score then